what's going on guys Moxification here so today um obviously as you will know uh dashboard update came out uh i think it came out two days ago now i could be wrong it might be just one day ago uh but you know it's between like 48 and 24 hours it came out uh, ago and i just thought i'd do a video like i normally do when such thing happens and it's just a quick video it's not necessarily the full tutorial on how to update your jtag however i will put a down not a download link uh, i'll put a download link and a video link in the description for the actual full-on like exactly how to do it whereas this is just like a quick run through of like me updating my jtag myself and like i will sort of still sort of tell you how to do it but it's more it, it's more just like sort of getting the um, information out there and so I do a video on that and then you can also go through it with me if if you want or you can click the video in the description and you can use that and that's like more uh, thorough whereas this is just as quick as I can do it so uh, yeah so uh, yeah so what I've done is I've downloaded the files obviously I'll link everything in the description that you'll need um, but uh, but yeah, so I guess we'll get into it. So first thing I'm going to do is get the um, the NAND from my console. So to do that, I'm going to open up the uh, the neighborhood because uh, it is so much quicker than doing it with a USB. Obviously, you would use a USB um, if you if you didn't have neighborhood. You don't need neighborhood to do it. But as I said, this is like a quicker way for me. Uh, but I will link the video, the full video in the description. So I'm going to run the uh, flash360.xex and that's going to put me into flash360 on the console. Uh, as you can see in the background uh, right here, uh, we're going to do, uh, we're going to back up current NAND files, so that's X and then A and then it will go for its thing and go from like 0 to 100% um, and you probably won't be able to see it, it's probably not that clear on this screen. But essentially, it's going from zero to one hundred percent, and once it's done, we'll just press A um, and then back button, then that will take me back to the dashboard. Um, and so I've got the NAND. Uh, all I want to do now is refresh the page, I believe. There you go, refresh, and I'm just going to delete this because this is the the file that we'll get after. Um, so now, drag that to the desktop, and that's the that that's the NAND we're dragging. Uh, so now. Uh, I'm gonna make a backup just just because w you kind of you don't need to make a backup, but it's suggested that you do make a backup uh, simply because it's it's just helpful. It's like if anything were to mess up, you've got that backup there. You've got that backup saved. Technically, I do actually have a backup on the console already, but you know there it is. That's the backup. You've got it there, so everything's good. Uh, so now uh, I'm gonna essentially just open open up the XE build and get everything out so I'll come back once I've got everything out uh, so yeah alright so now we have I just like got everything out of the uh, the WinRAR uh, I've just got it in a folder now so now I can run it uh, so now I'm gonna run the the, the program so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna XE out of this because I no longer need it uh, now all I'm gonna do is open up this this the the NAND in the actual program so we're going to click uh, open and locate it there open and once it's in here I just need to locate my um, my CPU key and I've got that I think it's this one yeah this is the CPU key um, it doesn't really matter if you have my CP CPU key it doesn't it, it's not something that is necessarily um, people can't really do anything with it the only thing that I'd say not to, uh, not to like give your uh, people your CPU key would be if someone were to um, you know spoof your CPU key to get something free. You know that there's there's certain things that you can do with it, but I mean mine. I don't really care if you have it. Uh, but yeah, so uh, so now I'm gonna make sure that it's selected to the latest update. So it already was. I'm just gonna move this up a bit because it's actually uh, difficult to see it. So uh, yeah, one seven five one one. Select that, and then we can make sure everything's ticked. Include dash launch. Um, they essentially include everything, and then uh, yeah, we should be good. Everything's correct. Uh, generate hacked image. And it will go for its thing. If you get any errors, um, you probably want to go back and look at what you've, you know, what you've done wrong. But everything, everything was good for me. Uh, so now I'm just going to close the program. Everything's good. And then we've got the the log here and the the actual the new NAND. So now we're going to put this back on the uh, back on the console. So uh, I think I'm not sure. Yeah, this is the one here. Uh, we might have to. Ah, oh, no, we're good. Here we go. So now just drag this back across. 
uh, and there it is and run flash 360 again and um, I'm just gonna open up the whole punch capture so you can uh, see what's going on I'll make this big screen as well so you can see properly what's going on uh, it still may be a little bit laggy but you should be able to see uh, so now we're just gonna write upd flash dot bin to nand so I'll press a uh, you don't it don't matter for this one a or b I'm just press b um, it says press a button uh, to retest or start button to ignore and continue so start button um, and then uh, press a button to begin or any other button to return to the main menu so a button and then it will go from zero to hundred uh, percent and it usually only takes about 10 seconds um, and uh, yeah, it's nearly done it's on 70 for me 80 90 hundred percent done so now um any button back button back button and it will go five four three two one and the console will turn off so you, you see it, it did like four seconds so now my xbox is off um all you want to do is uh, unplug the power brick uh, from the console um i'm just going to do it from underneath the uh, uh i just need to unplug it really quick there you go mine's unplugged uh i suggest you only wait you you can more, people suggest that you wait 30 seconds people suggest that you wait you know 20 seconds as long as there's no power in the console then everything's good um it, the only reason you're doing that is to reset the system clock and like reset the whole console um it, it's just something you should do just in case because uh, i've heard that it's not a good idea to actually turn the console on like straight after uh, but yeah so i've i've done that now i'm gonna turn my xbox back on now uh, and if you've done everything right, which I'm hoping I have, um, it, ha it hasn't been that long since I last did a dashboard update for a, for a console. I think the last time I did a dashboard update was a few, probably a couple of months ago. Um, so everything should have gone good. Um, so yeah, it's, it's booting up right now. I've got the uh, the Xbox 360 logo on my screen. So I'm gonna I'm gonna open up the whole patch capture so you can see what I'm seeing. And uh, and uh, yeah, so now it's on the, on the dashboard. Should be able to see now that uh, I'm on the dashboard and everything is good. Um, we'll just make sure that I am on the latest update by going to the uh, the right hand side. Uh, here we go. It just said my ninja has expired, which is correct. Um, and uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll scroll all the way to the right once this is loaded because it's, it's still in the spinning circle. I guess it's just, I guess it's just taking a while to load. But uh, yeah, I probably should have not signed into a gamer tag. I'm not too sure if I did just then. But uh, but yeah, here we go. It's it's loaded for me now. Uh, so yeah, now I'm just gonna press B and go all the way over to the right hand side. Go into system. Go into I believe it's console settings and it's system info. Uh, and there it is. Uh, dashboard one seven five one one. Uh, that's the current update and uh, obviously this will work for any other dashboard um, update in the future um, I mean it should do anyway and it depends if they change the method but uh, but yeah so I'll link the download for the files the updated files you know the um, the XE build and the the files for ninja if you're using ninja um, and I'll also link the video the other video that uh, is more in detail it's more in depth it's like um it's not doing it as quick as I just did it then it's more like it's probably about a 13 minute video this is probably gonna be like a maybe an 8 minute video I'm not too sure but it's it's more in depth it's you know it tells you how to do it with the USB and different things and I've also got one for a corona so you know it's, it's quite a long video so if you've got a corona you can go watch that video and you know you can set it up like that uh, but yeah so that's about it uh, thanks for watching and uh, I guess I'll see you in the next video uh, yeah goodbye